So I thought it's about how do you overcome your blind spot or overcome your weakness or overcome your negative uh, side. And I have been thinking about this and I think it really splits into two things. You either get better at the thing that you're not good at. If it's sales, you then go on a course or you read a book or you listen to podcasts, whatever it is, to improve your skill set and be able to get better at it. Now, some people are more flexible and more agreeable for those sorts of things. And some people are more in tune with doing things like sales if they haven't done it before, uh, just because of their personality and what they like doing. So if you want to get into sales and you like talking in front of people and it gives you a buzz and you like the way it makes you feel and you good at communicating with people and reaching out to them and linking in with them and being able to engage them then sales might be a good thing for you and if you haven't done it before what you need to do is as I said find all different types of content and work at that to be a better salesman or, or become a good salesman the other way is to actually bring in other people who who can supplement your weakness Now, this isn't always the easiest thing to do because it takes a bit of reflection to understand what you're not good at and it actually takes a bigger step actually I think to say that I'm not going to be good at this and I need additional help now that comes in employing other people or bringing people in from other parts of the business that can help you on a project or a task or if it is sales for example you hire a really good sales manager director whatever it is and you rely on them to be able to do the sales part of your business because you can feed in and you can give advice and can give sort of input but they're the ones who actually go there and speak to clients and, 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 and get sales for you so they're basically split into two ways both have advantages and disadvantages and I think also it's really important that you need to think about what is the best thing so if you do it yourself it's going to cost you time which is important and if you get someone else in it's going to cost you money which is also important. Which one is more important than the other is entirely up to you at that stage when you have that problem. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, please retweet, please follow, please subscribe. And if you've got any comments, let me know.